Hey y'all, what's the deal? It's Indigenous Realist. This is gonna be a short work about astral projection. This is not the know all, this is not the tell all, this is not the end all. There is much more information out there available about, about astral projection, but this is just for me, something short, just for people who have questions about the astral body, the chakras, and even the oral bodies. But um, let me know how you feel in the description about this video. If it helped in any kind of way, that's good to you. Like up the video. Uh, oh, yeah, tune in to my live feeds, y'all. We'll be going live every day for four or five hours. Indeed. This is going to be a quick study on terms in the process of astral projection. Astral projection is the conscious act of a being's astral body leaving the physical body. This is not a complete know-how. This is just a brief look into the phenomena and a few safety tips and suggestions. There are three bodies inside of us. Whether we consciously choose to acknowledge them or not, they are still there. We have the earthen conscious power body. We have the astral power body. And we have the spiritual power body. Each body has a function on a certain plane. And they all must be protected to avoid peril. We all have seven chakras. The root, the sacral, solar plexus, heart, throat, third eye, and crown. The third eye is often misnomered as the pineal gland, but that's a bill for another time. Seven chakras produce the seven orators. I'll talk about them at another time to preserve time on this bill right here. Through meditation is the only way to consciously astral project. By meditation, I mean rhythmic breathing. Upon reaching that state of peace of meditation, your astral bodies will ignite. Igniting the chakra takes practice and patience, so don't be discouraged. Before attempting to do astral projection, please properly protect all three bodies. Proper preparation prevents poor performance, they say. I like to say protect yourself or you will be eaten. The most dangerous form of astral being in the astral, in the astral plane is the astral energy vampire. Not to sound spooky, but they are, they are actual beings that will suck your very astral form dry. And by that, they will suck your soul. There are other beings in the astral plane, but for the purpose of saving time, I will not talk about them in this video. I'm indigenous realist, the realist, and I'm gone. Please like the video and subscribe. I will make a more comprehensive video about the inhabitants of the astral plane at another time.